On Monday, Taiwan reported 23,045 new cases, a two-month low. Although case numbers are falling, the CCC said the decrease may slow because it's now summer vacation. The CCC also urged the public to take precaution against emerging Omicron subvariants. Taiwan reported 23,045 new cases for July 4th, the lowest daily number in two months. However, the week-on-week -week decrease has slowed from 80,000 two weeks ago to 59,000 last week. Now it's summer vacation, so on the whole, crowds have returned a bit. Currently, the decrease in case numbers is slowing. The CECC also announced it had identified 112 cases of the BA4 and BA5 Omicron subvariants in June, accounting for more than 60 percent of imported cases. Of the two subvariants, BA5 accounted for more than 95 cases. Although BA4 and BA5 have not yet reached the local population, neighboring Japan has already seen an uptick in case numbers resulting from the subvariants. Experts worry that when BA4 and BA5 enter local communities, daily case numbers will also rebound into the 80,000s. If defense fails, newly reported case numbers may increase by 150 percent, rebounding into the 70,000s or even 80,000s. In many countries, BA4 and BA5 have successively led to community infections. It seems that recently Japan and Singapore, because of BA5, have seen their case numbers rebound. Considering the new subvariant's higher transmissibility, on Monday the executive UN decided to extend the weekly traveler's cap of 25,000 for another week. Because globally speaking, the epidemic has worsened due to summer travels. In many countries, BA4 and BA5 are now the dominant strains. The CECC urged travelers to take precautions against COVID while traveling abroad to prevent another outbreak from emerging on Taiwanese soil.